morning, brothers and sisters. I hope you are doing well today. If you're new, welcome. Um, I haven't been on in a few days. I've been kind of under the weather. I told you my husband had a cold and I let up and stopped taking the um, apple cider vinegar and the uh, zinc a little earlier than I should have. And I caught his cold. I actually, on Sunday, thought I was just dealing with allergies because it's what I tend to deal with when I'm dealing with allergies and it was I was dealing with a runny nose that's just all I was dealing with was a runny nose but then I noticed I started getting a slight headache and uh so I was like thinking during the day maybe I could nah, I didn't really want to believe it and then yesterday I uh, woke up and I'm just like yeah it was like in the middle of the night I knew that I had more than just um allergies I had a cold and so today I feel good actually I mean I still like I don't have taste or anything and I can't smell but I'm not congested so for I was congested and stuff yesterday I just didn't feel good my head was just congested H headache on and off and just blowing my nose and today I'm not blowing my nose as much and I don't feel as congested although I do kind of like have that phlegmy smell I just can't stand it it's like I can't taste or smell anything but phlegm so there's that um I told you guys my husband tested negative for COVID which we knew he would because um we are protected in Jesus name and they tried giving him a little bit of a hard time and actually his teaching job did now most of you guys know unless you're new but um I actually have not left my home in, in June, it would be a year. So we have not had a vehicle and we just stalled on getting a vehicle because I don't travel in the winter time anyways. And I have two little ones, so going anywhere is kind of a pain in the butt. My husband has a work vehicle, so he's the one that goes out of the home and does the shopping and stuff like that. I send him with the list or I do most of my shopping on Amazon if I need something. And so he's the one that's been doing everything outside of the home. So he got the cold um, way last week. It was like the Friday, not not this past Friday, the Friday before. He was out of work from Friday to uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. He was off for like over a week. And um, so in that time, you know, of course, he's around the house. I'm probably going to catch a cold. He, the cold he came up negative for the COVID he goes back to work and now his jobs were like uh, unless your wife go gets tested for COVID you're probably gonna have to be on quarantine for two weeks his teaching job is gonna make him do zoom for two weeks and his other job said you know what you tested negative uh, your wife doesn't work for us you do so we have to go on that but um we know that I don't have COVID and I've never got out of the house. He tested negative for it. I just was like, my feathers were kind of ruffled this morning because I'm like, I'm like, oh, it kind of seems like you're working for some ding dongs. <laughs> Probably wasn't the nicest thing to say, but mm, nevertheless, <laughs> I, I still am human and I have to go to God daily and ask him to forgive me because usually my words are Look at the birds. They've been visiting me all day. <clears throat> it distracts me. Um, so anyways, let's switch off of that topic. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way as I do, but I really feel, and I've watched a lot of different um, Bible studies and stuff like that, and I've really just been getting into my word and seeking God, but I just really feel we are on our way out of this world in the escape. I really feel, does anybody else feel like any moment we're out of here? Like, like for real, like this is it. We're so close to the rapture. I just really feel, and I don't, it's not even, it's like a rapture. It's not the rapture. It's like a rapture. It's the escape. The rapture is for after seal six. If you guys have been studying, I don't know if you guys have looked at Ministry Revealed with Alan. Um, he actually did a live last night with uh, the Interrupts 165, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description, but it was a very encouraging 
a live chat between them and um, it just makes you go, yes, yes, exactly. And they bring out scripture and just talking and it encouraged me. I actually listened to it two times just because, you know, my family and stuff were up and my kids were running around and stuff and I wanted to hear it again so I played it twice. But it's just really encouraging and it just... You know, other people who believe how you believe in the scripture have been open to them like they've been open to you. And um, they're seeing what you're seeing, and it's just so encouraging. And they all believe the same thing, that there's no way we're staying past spring. And so um, it's just really exciting. And then Chooch. I don't know if anybody watched uh, TOL with uh, Brother Chooch. I don't watch him a whole, whole lot, but he just did a live last night, and I just finished watching it, so I watched it today. I don't watch it at night. I go to bed kind of early, but um, it was more of a serious thing, and I think that's why I listened to it, but he was talking about why he believes that the rapture is any time, and Brother Chooch does not watch Sword of God or Minister Revealed or Interrupts 165, which are all three of the um, ministries that I watch for end times, um, but he doesn't watch them. So we have a lot of other brothers and sisters that don't even watch the same channels and we all feel the same exact way. So that's why I'm like, does anybody who watches me feel like any moment, any moment we're gonna be taken, like we're in extremely high watch time. Jesus is coming for his precious bride. I am so excited to go. I know when I wasn't feeling good on Sunday, was it Sunday or Monday? No, it was Monday. It was yesterday. I tried laying down, and uh, the Lord was just being so sweet, just, you know, speaking to me about things, and just about the things of, you know, messages like for me about, you know, he's proud of me and just stuff like that. He'll, he'll tell me every once in a while, you know, if he's proud of me for something I did or, you know, whatever, but it was just really sweet. But um, I feel like I also, this is another thing that I feel. I feel like another reason why we are close to going is because I know back in November, December, I think it was November, December, January, February, even part of March. Like I was, the Lord was constantly like putting things in my spirit to get out and to tell people. And that has slowed down. It's, it's like he has not given me any words or messages to tell anybody. Um, he's not warning me of upcoming anything. It's kind of like he said through me, the people that I, I reach, he said what they need to know. And that's all that he's saying through me. I know that he's given warnings and telling things to other people. They may reach a different audience than me because I'm not really out there. As you can see, I only have what, I don't even know, like 404 followers, which I don't even really care about followers. Like, any message that God uses me to speak, he's going to get it out through what he needs to get it out. I don't need the followers. I don't really care. Um, back when I was doing hauls and stuff, I was looking on getting, um, you know, commercials and stuff put on there. But um, the Lord um, directed me to change my, and that's why the name isn't even the same anymore. Um, he directed me to change what I speak about and make it be about him and so there's no way that I would ever pick commercials on this channel ever speaking of that I know I've heard a lot of people saying that commercials are being put on their videos if you ever see a commercial put on any of my videos know that it was not me and uh, it couldn't be anyways because you have to have at least a thousand subscribers to even sign up for the program and like I said I'm only at like 404, and um, and that's still my a majority of the subscribers that I have are subscribers from when my channel was from doing hauls. So either them people don't really watch YouTube, haven't my videos haven't really popped up to them, or they just haven't really you know I don't know. Maybe some of them have come to know you, know me, know the Lord. But um, I don't know. So I only have a few new ones. Probably about a hundred uh, people who 
or like subscribe to me as waiting on Jesus. Anyways, I uh, just want to get on here and see how everybody's doing. I hope you're all doing well and staying um, healthy and staying in your word and getting in your prayer closet and just seeking the Lord. You know, we are in the times and the seasons for that. Don't try not to watch the news too much. I um, am thankful that I haven't watched the news in a really long time. Um, I kind of know I'm on a need to know when the Lord needs me to know something. He puts it in my vision. Um, he also, you know, will send different ministries or whatever. They give me the news or updates or whatever on things going on around the world. You know, we got wars, rumors of wars and stuff like that going on. Um, but other than that, I actually also don't believe that I will be getting out of the house before the rapture or like a rapture, the escape, because, um, I think I mentioned it that my husband went in, did all the plates and stuff like that and um or got the title switched over but we can't get the plates until we got insurance on the vehicle and so he has to make another appointment which is like two months out so that is okay I'd rather go and be with our Lord than drive a vehicle so I'm just I'm not even looking forward to the things on earth I'm looking forward to the things in heaven my my daydreaming consists of who I may see who I'm hoping to see who I'm hoping has grown close in their walk with the Lord and you know like things I get to see in heaven like I daydream about the things of heaven I don't look forward to the things of earth anymore because I it just this is not my home I'm just ready to go so all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh get out of here I gotta go get my prayer closet and uh I need to just spend time with the Lord so I hope you all are blessed and stay well, and I will see you in the next video. If not, I will meet you all in the air. God bless you.